So we have a little bit of a minor trade that just happened in the NHL. It's kind of an interesting one. It's just a straight up one for one deal. Chicago sent Artem Anisimov to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Zach Smith. And obviously just looking at it, Ottawa does get the better player here of the two. But it's weird because, you know, why would Ottawa want a guy like Artem Anisimov, who's 31 years old, scored 20 goals in the 2017-18 season, had 15 goals this past season, and I think he still has a lot to give. Has that four and a half million dollar cap it though, and that's probably why Chicago wanted to move on from him and Ottawa you know trying to hit the cap floor I'm sure that's why they had no problem you know bringing him on and Zach Smith only has a 3.25 million dollar cap hit he is an unrestricted free agent in the summer of 2020 to 21 so I guess from that aspect the deal does make sense for both teams and I think Zach Smith is going to be going to a situation a Chicago team that I'm pretty sure they want to win now obviously you know they're kind of heading in a younger direction but as long as you have that much money tied up in guys like Patrick Kane Jonathan and Taze and Ducky Keith and they're not you know old yet this should be a team that is trying to compete and losing Anisimov you're gonna lose some of your depth scoring but you know that could be replenished by guys like Dylan Strom who's gonna be there for the full season maybe a guy like Alex Nylander if he can come in and have a breakout season but obviously as everyone knows Zach Smith is more of a locker room guy and a guy that kind of leads by example he had 28 points this past season played in 70 games and I think he can be a pretty solid third or fourth line center whatever role Chicago decides to put him in so I think they're gonna be happy with you know having him in their bottom six going forward and I wouldn't be surprised if the Ottawa Senators decide to maybe try to flip Artem Anisimov at the trade deadline next year because he's a guy who might play in their top six obviously they don't have too too many guys but they're probably going to want to play their young players ahead of him so he probably should get you know some opportunity to put up decent numbers and maybe if he does that he could have some decent value at the trade deadline and they could flip him for maybe a prospect or some picks or something like that so it makes sense it's an interesting trade and there isn't really too too much to say about it but if you are a fan of the Ottawa Senators or the Chicago Blackhawks, I'm very interested to hear you guys' thoughts. I'm sure fans of Ottawa would probably be a little bit more upset about this trade than fans of Chicago because I know a lot of Ottawa fans are attached to Zach Smith. He's kind of a fan favorite there and it definitely is going to be one that probably hurts a little bit in the locker room. I know news came out when they decided to put him on waivers this past season that a lot of the Ottawa Senator players were not happy about it, but obviously he wasn't claimed. He came back and now obviously he is shipped out to Chicago. So it's an interesting move. Like I said, you know, for cap implications, I guess it kind of makes sense but other than that there isn't really too too much to say about it so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like on it and like I said make sure to let me know your thoughts on the trade down in the comment section below and once again thank you guys so much for the support on the channel lately it's been growing at a pretty quick rate really faster than the channel has ever grown you guys are always killing it with the like button and the view so like I said I just appreciate all the support and with that being said I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and I will see you guys all in the next video